Hello and welcome to this demonstration in which I'm going to show you how to design this Christmas wooden sign using Arkham Standard 2017. So I'm going to jump into the software now and as you may see the interface obviously looks different compared to our previous versions. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new model. Now this is going to be 400 by 400 with units in millimeters. I want the resolution to be as high as possible and my origin to be in the center of the model. So this is the new interface of Arkham Standard and you may see it looks completely different but I'm going to guide you through some simple tools that will help you create the wooden sign you've seen before. So the first thing I want to do is to create the vectors for the frame. So I'm going to create a square, which is going to be 360 by 360, with 50 millimeters corner radius, which I'm going to invert by clicking on this checkbox here. I'm going to click on create and I'm going to close the form. Now I want to offset this vector twice. So I'm going to enter the offset tool which you can access by clicking on this icon here or by pressing O on your keyboard. And I want to offset these by 20 millimeters inwards with sharp corners, but I don't want to delete the original vector at the moment. So I'm going to click on offset. And then with the original vector still selected, I want to offset it by five millimeters outwards. And this time I want to delete the original vector. So now I've got the frame and what I want to do is to create a third vector which is going to be my cross section for a tool called T-Rail Sweep Tool. So I'm just going to draw it here. I just want something like an M shape, like so. Don't forget if you're not happy with how this looks, you can always change it in node editing mode. So I'm going to enter the T-Rail Sweep Tool I want to set this as my drive rail, this as my second drive rail, and this one is going to be my cross section. So obviously the result, as usual, is showed live by the software on my 3D view. And I want to get rid of this gear. So I'm going to untick the scale height with width box. And if I'm happy, I can click on apply, but I just want to show you that you can always change the appearance of this by dragging nodes on the cross section or on the drive rail in case you wanted to, and the results will be showed live on the software. So I'm going to click on apply, and you will see that my frame is now ready to go. I'm going to delete the cross section as I don't need it anymore, and I can now think about the rest. Now, I want to import a relief from the Relief Clipart library. Now, we have nearly 700 free reliefs that come with Arkham Standard. So those will help you when you go to design something that you've already designed in the past, because you can always customize that library. So the 700 reliefs I told you about will come by default with the software, but you can always add your own relief to it. So I'm going to open the Relief Clipart library and I'm going to look for a relief I know I have, which is a Christmas ornament. I'm going to center it, so change the origin to 0, 0. And then I'm going to resize it. I want to maintain the aspect ratio and I want my width to be 180. Click on Apply. I also want to change the Z range, but I'm going to do it dynamically to show you another way of resizing reliefs in Arkham. So I wanted this to be round about eight millimeters, so I'm happy. I wanna go into the relief clip art paste option form. I wanna change the combine mode to add, and at the moment, I do not want to paste the outline vector. Click on paste, and my relief is now pasted down in the center of my model. Now, if you remember on the image I've showed you, we had some text, so I'm going to create really quickly two arcs that will help me out in laying out my text. So just roughly one at the top of my part and one at the bottom. 
And then if you want to modify their positions, just use your arrow keys. Like so. I'm now going to enter the text creation tool. So first select the curve, enter the text creator. Now I've already chosen my font, the size and the spacing between characters, but you can change it if you want. Don't forget all the fonts that are installed on your computer will appear on that list. Now Arkham has already picked up the curve. I want to wrap my text along. So I'm just going to type Arkham wishes you a and then I'm going to center these click on create and then do the same for my bottom curve and type very Merry Christmas with an exclamation mark it's already centered so I can click on create and now I can delete the two arcs I don't need anymore now, if you want to modify the position of this text, you can always select it and again, use your arrow keys. Now I'm going to enter the nudge distance tool. So I'm holding my alt key down and pressing my downwards arrow key. So you can see I can change the uh, fixed distance that Arkham will move my item by every time I click on an arrow key. I'm gonna say five, click on okay. And once again, so I've moved the just to see how it looks by five millimeters twice. So I'm now going to shift select my two sentences and I'm going to enter the shape editor. You can do so by clicking on this icon or by pressing F12 on your keyboard. I'm going to hide the vectors for the sake of visibility and I'm going to choose a square profile and again, you will see that the results are showed live on the software. I want to drop this down to 30 degrees and my start height to 2 millimeters. Once I'm happy, I can click on apply and close the form down. Now, the last thing I want to do is add some uh, wooden effect to the center part. However, I don't want that texture to be applied to my text or to my centerpiece. So what I'm going to do is select the vector of the frame and then the other vectors to tell the software do not go over those. However, as you can see, I don't have a vector that goes all the way around my centerpiece. If you remember, I unticked the paste outline vector box beforehand. So that was made on purpose. I want to show you another tool we have available in Arkham, which is the Relief Cookie Cutter. So what I'm going to do is create a rough vector that goes all the way around my ornament. Close this down and with the vector still selected, enter the Relief Cookie Cutter tool. So that will bring my relief back to being a floating clip art. And I can now go to the paste option form, tick the box and paste it down. So I can delete this vector because now I have a vector that goes all the way around that ornament. So I can now enter the texture relief tool. I want to texture the selected vector. So I'm going to select this one and then the ones I want Arkham to avoid. Now you can choose five standard textures, but I'm going to choose from file. And you can see that Arkham comes by default with more than 30 pre-made texture files. I'm going to go with three bark. I'm going to change the size to be 360 by 360, like my frame, and the height to be 0.3 of a millimeter. I can now click on apply and you will see that the texture has been applied to the bottom part, but not to the areas I wanted to avoid. So with the design part, we are finished and we're now going to calculate some toolpaths for this part, okay? So click on toolpaths, show my vectors, and I'm going to select the outer vector for my frame and then choose a profiling toolpath. 
First things first, let's define the material. I want this to be 15 millimeters thick. Click on OK. And now I can choose my tool to be my 12 millimeters end mill. I want to change the step down to be 5 millimeters. And then tell the softer I want to cut all the way through. So finish depth of 15 millimeters. I want to add 3D bridges. So I want four bridges and I want them seven millimeters long and five millimeters thick. So I can click on add and Arkham will show me a preview of where those bridges are going to be. Now, if you are not happy with the position of, the, of those bridges, you can click on edit bridges, but at the moment I'm happy with it. So I'm going to click on calculate now and you will see that the three passes I was expecting are there. So the next toolpath we're going to use is machine relief toolpath. I'm going to use it twice because I want to machine the frame with different tools than the ones I will use to machine the center part. So again, toolpaths, machine relief, and I'm going to select the two vectors for the frame and say I want to machine inside the selected vectors. I'm going to finish this part with a one millimeter ball nose and rough it with a two millimeters end mill. I can now make sure that I've got all the settings still applied. I can click on calculate. So my toolpath is calculated. And as you can see, Artcam will display them separately. So I've got my roughing one and my finishing one. So you calculate two toolpaths at once, but then they will be treated as individual ones, which gives you more freedom. So I'm now going to choose again another machine relief toolpath to machine inside this vector here. For my finishing tool, I'm going to choose a 1.5 millimeters ball nose just slightly bigger than the one I've used before. For my roughing strategy, a 10 millimeters end mill. And then again, click on calculate. So once again, my two parts have calculated and they can be displayed separately. And the last thing I'm going to do is simulate them all. So simulate all toolpaths in high detail, a feature that is not available for Arkham free users, and click on simulate. So I'm really happy with the result. You can see that the 0.3 millimeter wooden effect has been applied and has been machined beautifully. I can also change the appearance of the simulation to be medium oak with vertical veinings. So that will give me a better representation of how my part will look like once I actually go to machine it from a piece of wood. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to export these toolpaths. So I'm going to go toolpaths, save toolpath as, and you will see there are five individual toolpaths for my part. I'm going to save them to separate files, assuming I don't have an automatic tool changer or assuming I want to run these two parts on my machine one by one. And I want to append their details to the file names. So Arkham comes with more than 400 posts free of charge, but I'm going to use a generic G code that will give me five tab files. If I click on save and then I browse to the right folder, you can see that we have five individual tab files, which you can open with Notepad++, which is a free software you can get off the internet, and inspect your G-code to then send it to the machine. So this concludes my demonstration in which I've showed you how to create this Christmas wooden sign using Arkham Standard 2017. Thanks for watching.